everybody, it's Chef Sonya King of King Creations PCS coming back to you, getting you ready for the barbecue season. Yes, barbecue season is upon us, so we like to do a lot of different side dishes, right? So the side dish that I'm going to show you to do today is my grandmother's baked beans. Ooh. <laughs> but um, I, I did some changes from what she has done in the past. Not that there was anything wrong with it. But I just wanted to, you know, change it up a little bit. So get ready and follow along. All right. So what do I have here? All the ingredients for those wonderful baked beans. So what I have in this bowl is baked beans. And the baked beans that I like to use are the vegetarian baked beans. That's where my grandmother's beans were a little different because back in the day we used to use the one that had that big chunk of, you know, pork in there. <laughs> But it was still good though, you know, I, I didn't have a problem with it, but I just wanted to do these um, Vegetarian, you know, for those of you that are vegetarian So I have a vegetarian baked beans in here and you can get the ones that does just have the tomato sauce in there as well If you just want to go ahead and start from scratch fully from scratch But I just like to embellish the ones that come out of that can and I'm not naming any names. Okay, so I'm Gonna put some brown sugar in here and I'm going to stir this around, get that stirred around, because this is going to be sugar sweet. This brown sugar, y'all. I'll use the light brown sugar. You can use the dark one if you want. And I'm going to go ahead and just put all of that in there. How much was that? Two <coughs> cups. Woohoo! Those of you that um, you got problems with the sugar, just, just don't do that. Just do it to your taste, okay? But I like the two cups of sugar because I want to be able to taste this, and, and you'll see what I'm talking about after you finish, okay? So now, I have the Trinity. This is onions, peppers, and celery. You can skip this part too if you like, but my grandmother did this, so I like to stick with this, and it just gives it a little extra flavor. So I'm just eyeballing, and it really depends on how much you want in here, okay? So just stir that around. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes. This is so easy, y'all. So easy. All right. So now we're going to take a little bit of garlic powder. Just a little bit. Just give it a little, just a little sprinkle. Not too much. Not too much. And you can also use minced garlic in here if you like. Then I'm going to take some freshly dressed black pepper. Go around there a few times. That's going to give it just a little bit of a kick. Just a little bit. Not, not the kind that you would get from something that's really spicy, though. All right? So with all that sugar, we got to kind of balance it out. So this is where the yellow mustard comes in handy. So I'll just make a couple of M's or W's. <laughs> And I'm just going to stir this around, stir it around. See, look at that. It's so easy to make your own baked beans, y'all. So easy. So you know how I always tell you to taste your food, right? So we got to taste this. We got to make sure that it's, before we put it in the oven, does it taste good? So let's try it. Yes, it's just the way I want it. But you always hear me say that, right? But that's what you want. And notice I'm using one spoon. So I don't want to go back in there with the one that I had. And I've got to teach you some safety and sanitation techniques. All right, so this is good. This is just how you want it. Put that. Ooh. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put it in our bowl. I'm sorry, bowl. <laughs> so now what we're going to do, we're going to put this in our pan. You're going to a picnic, y'all. You're going to a picnic. So you got to make sure you have enough baked beans. You don't want to go in there and just have a little bitty pan size. That's enough for you and your family, right? Your family of four. You got to bring some for Aunt, Uncle Bubble and, and, and uh, Aunt B, right? Or else they're going to be looking at you like, yeah. 
So we're gonna put this in the oven, 400 degree oven for 50 minutes to an hour until it's nice and bubbly and oh, you just get ready. See that y'all? Woo hoo, that's what you want. You want that to be nice and properized. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes, 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 yes. This is how you want it to look. Nice and caramelized, y'all. Nice and caramelized. You know, you just let it sit up. And now, whoops, you know I gotta taste it, right? You gotta taste it. Hot out the oven. Don't you dare put that pot liquor. Yes, <laughs> pot liquor for beans, too. Pot liquor for beans. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Mmm. Oh, so it was so good. It was so good. So now I gotta put these beans, piping hot beans, in this bowl. Mmm. 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 That's what you want. You want to take this to that next pot liquor or picnic, y'all. Don't forget, I'm Chef Sonya King with King Creations. PCS, create a recipe the way you want using your heart and your head. See you next time.